In 2023, we became the new owners of an abandoned farm in central Portugal. Follow our story of resilience, growth and the pursuit of a more sustainable and fulfilling way of life. Together we'll celebrate the beauty of nature, the joy of learning and the wonders that await as we embrace the Portuguese culture and create our own unique escape within the breathtaking landscape. No hubiera pensado que yo me iba a enamorar jamás No quería saber nada más, nunca más Pero vos apareciste de repente Y me hablaste con una voz tan dulce que perdí la razón Y mi corazón hay amor te preocupes. Yeah. I must be why can't you see? No hope is left of me. I had to tell you before I fall asleep Sitting there on the edge, babe Not knowing which way to lean We are just um, having a clear out of everything inside and out, ready to level the floor. Um, I just realised we did half of it and we didn't bring you guys along. So um, I've been picking up on the inside. Dave is doing all the manual lifting, the heavy lifting. <laughs> um, and yeah, so we'll just stick a bit of a time lapse on and yeah, we'll see. It's going to get pretty dusty, I think, as soon as we start sort of sweeping. But um, yeah, so let's see how much we can get done before the sun goes. We've got one percent, but it's done. It is pretty much empty, apart from look at the sphere. The journey. Name the film. Name the film. All this space for activities. <laughs> <laughs> but it is done. Ah, oh, so excited! Can't believe how big it looks. It's echoey. Yeah.
So guys, I'm back in the cow shed, armed with some sandpaper because the finish on this self-level isn't, it's not ideal. Let me show you. So, it's relatively flat. Over here it looks fantastic. But 
where it's joined up with the other stuff. I should have primed it, it's just not the best. So I'm going to sand away and try and make a better sort of link, fill any low spots, and then we can maybe throw some sort of paint on temporarily for now. Um, but we're very close to be able to start to frame the outside of this room. So one last job and then I think I'm gonna do some gardening because it's been a busy few days. So yeah, let's get to it. There's a lot of colors I don't know where to go See a lot of colors Only feeling blue There's a lot of colors Lost within a haze Don't rely on others To get you through the maze So guys, as I walk into the barn, not happy with the results of the sanding, I've made a decision. Coat two, I'm going to prime the room and do a very um, thin screen on top. I may even add a, um, a tint to this one, maybe a slight terracotta color or something maybe, just cause then, um, may look a little bit nicer but yeah I'm not happy so back to the the smurf juice Some dye in it. it has changed the color a little bit. So let's see. Um, there are a lot of voices drowning in the sea. There's too many voices talking back at me. There are a lot of choices waiting to be made. Too many choices. Making me afraid And we've got one bag to spare. You've got cement on your face. I've got cement everywhere. Um, but guys, this is hopefully the last, last bucket. Oh, if I trip over now. I know, in it. You know just... Kevin from the office. Oh yeah, with, with his. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. I don't know whether to. I should pour it as a room. Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna maybe have to do two parts. Yeah, maybe. Can't get in because the sun. It's really hard to film because I haven't got. Um, Can you pass me the. Um... Just, do you want to show them what you've done and I'll go get there? Yeah. Right, there's a small patch which I'm standing on, which is the last little bit. Much better than the big old thing we missed the other day. They aren't blank bits, they're the reflection, but it's starting to go off in the corners. It's. Again, I'll have to put a photo on because the colour doesn't do justice. It looks like. Like, like McDonald's and um, chocolate milkshake. So yeah, I'll switch over again. Let me pull some towards the door. 
really. Yeah, it's really hard to film, but hopefully they can see some bits. The good thing is this last bit now doesn't have to be super. Um, it doesn't have to be super thin. So we're trying to fathom how much we needed to finish the room. And we were panicking a little bit after. We're traumatised, I think, is um, yeah. traumatised about not finishing the one patch by the door. Um, but I did part of the colour. Okay. So, um, basically that's us done. Flooring is done. We'll put a little montage of um, how it actually, yeah, how it we, actually... We can't make the people watch all this and then not... <laughs> not see the actual colour it comes out as. So, um, yeah, so we'll put a little montage of what it comes out like. And then next week, oh, exciting, we're plasterboarding. Um, plasterboarding and possibly painting, David. I don't want to disturb you, but I think you might need... One more mix. Oh no, you're joking. Look, it's just enough space for Dave to stand in. <laughs> I've just hang on, I need to spread this bit here because there's a bit of a low patch, so I didn't want to patch better. You know where the bricks were? Mm-hmm. You might be okay. I'm sort of gauging on <laughs> He's but gonna run out and look, that's literally it. But it's a it's a real hard Oh no, Sophia. Quick, right. Another mix on. Right, another mix. Trying to figure out how I'm supposed to get through. The dream of Guys, it's the next day. Um, the the floor won't have fully cured, but we'll show you where we are now, yeah. just so you can see the colour and see how it looks. But it's an even floor coverage. <laughs> it's it's it is what it is. It's not dusty. Yeah. Let's go. So let's show you. We've got a lot of cleaning to do as well. We were messing about with the leftovers to get like an idea of the colour. So it's like slightly salmony, ready colour. So yeah, I don't think we're going to walk on it today because it's still got wet patches. Oh, look. But it's almost got like a, <laughs> I'm not going to say marble, but like a swirly sort of texture to it. I don't know if this is even going to come across on camera, but yeah, I think it needs another day. This bit's dry. Yeah, we'll be trying not to walk on, but I don't know wow. if we risk it. Should I take my shoes off? But that's it. <laughs> um, tomorrow we're going to start framing. Framing. Framing and then hopefully. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's, that's a Speedy Gonzalez here. <laughs> let's frame first because Sevilla's like, oh, it's That'll take us two too. hours. It's plasterboard, frame, insulate, get some mm. plug sockets in in 20, 12 hours. But maybe tomorrow we just frame. Yeah. But we should have a pretty level surface to work from now. Yeah, at least that. Yeah. Well, it's called self-leveling compound, so I'd like <laughs> to think it's somewhat self-level. <laughs> but yeah, I think the colour, I, nice. I really don't think it'll come, come, come up well on camera, but yeah. it's... You can sort of see it on that wall where a bit it's gone off the wall and it's definitely more of a grey. It's sort of like, whereas concrete, I've got actually got two pictures from me mixing yeah. of before and after, so I'll put those on now, but... Um, it's rather than be a grey hue from concrete, it's slightly more of a reddish. More like actually, more like you know traditional plaster. Yeah, it's yeah. more like that. So yeah, this for now is going to be the finished floor for now. <laughs> Maybe down the line we put some tiles or something yeah. on, but that's it. So next Friday, you guys will see us put some of these metal things over here around the room. Uh, Maybe even some plasterboarding and insulation if we can get that done. But. For us, it'll be tomorrow, so let's rest up and get this done. Yeah, lots so, of work still to do. Have a wonderful weekend. See and we'll you see you next soon. time. See ya. Bye. The dreams are not the same for me. Standing by the shore.
like this and 